do what's that get my dashboard open there we go <laughs> furry inspector <laughs> uh, I, I wish that was on stream that would have been funny publish that would have been great let me play this oh where to go ah there it is Turn this down. Alright. Let me just click yes to all of these. Tweets. Posts. Yes. Yes. Hey Frost. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Straight out of Marvel vs. Capcom. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe later to stream out, or maybe after this I'll work on Becky's nun outfit that we've unlocked. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a different um, character. It's not Blake, <laughs> the one in the middle, or the top middle. <laughs> different character. I'll color everybody here, so that way you'll know who's who, or you'll at least get to see them in color. I think it's fine to be able to merge these. Yeah, I know. A lot of my stuff suffers from same face and certain hair choices and ears and all that. I understand that. Okay, I'll draw one more character here and then I can go on to coloring it. Hope you're doing alright. Alright, so let's... I want to make sure I get the face for this right. This isn't really visible, but I'll give her one anyway since she's a. Uh, actually, she could be either or. So I'll just leave it the way it was drawn. Finish drawing your OC with a fat butt. <laughs> Good. Nothing wrong with a good butt.
yeah, I think during my off day, I'll take time to practice um, fiddling around with the animation options again in this program. But I'll also be working on iHat since I need to crank out pages for that. Uh, let me check. I might have seen it already. Unless you just posted it. Yeah, you just posted it. Yeah, yeah, I saw the sketch version of this earlier. Not bad, looks good. that are more like this. Because they're widely spread out. Maybe I'll condense it a little bit. And let's just sort of turn this off for now just so I can fit her. Let's get the shape of her head first. Hello, Pablo. Alright, so her ears are like this. first. And judging from this, she's not too busty, but busty enough. Alright, you take care. Enjoy your nap. So do 
this. Do, do, do. supposed to be spooky. Maybe have her hang out with Blood Orange. Yeah, this was um, an asset cast I was working on yesterday before um, before I ended the stream. So I was working on it last night um, for a little bit. And now I'm... Um, Finishing it off with this character, and then I'm gonna color it all. of her hair afterwards. Hello, hmm, I'm trying to be like is your name me yourself or may yourself or May's elf? <laughs> Trying to figure out your name <laughs> before I before I'm all like hey. <laughs>
It's a bad pun. Uh, <laughs> okay, no worries. Myself. Oh, okay. Is that Chub Kale there? Uh, I don't know who that is. <laughs> but no, um, these are my own stuff. <laughs> Unless you're talking about Fat Blake on the bottom, then yes. Yeah, the bunny at the bottom. Yeah. Here are the here are three three Blakes at least. Not all of them, but three of them. And then I'm just tossing in another few rabbit or rabbit like characters. But yeah, I hope everyone's doing all right. I am just cranking this out as quickly as I can. I may mean, have to go this extra with it, but I wanted to. Actually, let's bring that down a bit. No, the top four characters have nothing to do with Blake. Only the bottom three are th three different Blakes. But the ghost is a is a another um, adoptable that I had that I've gotten a while back. I do want to work on her artwork, so I might do that for the stream. So this is good practice to figure. Out how I'm gonna draw her. of wild hair going on. <laughs> yeah, you were half right.
let's see. Her hair is wild, so it's gonna be interesting to try to shuffle together. <laughs> Blake Kaiju. Nah, because, like, the question involved lemon lime as well, so I figured I'd just toss in every rabbit or rabbit like character. Well, not every, but, like, some more. Because the question was intended for, like, you know, bunny characters, since it's the year of the rabbit. But lemon lime is not actually a rabbit. And so that's what caused me to just toss in more rabbit-like characters. Slip down her hair a little bit. Actually, no, because it's rather messy anyway. I'll definitely bring up the hairline a bit. Ha, hairline. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you got something out of, out of I hat. Yeah. I've done my job then. <laughs> yeah, because I know there was a time where people were posting my stuff on YouTube, which I don't normally have an issue with. The problem was is that they weren't giving me credit. And that's when I had to, like, do something about it. So eventually I just started posting my stuff on YouTube. Or at least some parts of it, because obviously there's certain things I can't post. Yeah, like, I, like... Like, I did not have a problem with them posting it. It's just they weren't, like, you know, giving me credit. They weren't linking um, um, the video to my content or anything like that. So, I was just like, well, I might as well do it myself if other people are going to be posting it anyway. Which reminds me, I need to go through and see if I can post Kiwi's comic up there. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. The only thing I'd have to really cover up is just some boobs here and there. And that's kind of it. And I'll just have some of her hair over here. I technically don't need to cover up the boobs, but better to do so than not in that particular situation. Hey, Alex. Yeah, I'm in the middle of, like, redesigning him a bit. Because, um, some parts that have changed over the years, especially since IHAT became a thing, um, as well as, like, up updates to, like, god characters and stuff like that happen. So, his old design doesn't match what the, what the lore is currently. So, I have to, like, change him up a little bit. So he may or may not have the same look. 
once I give him his final version of, of that form. That's why the shoulder pad looks so trippy. Um, this spooky bun, I've named her Holly Fright. Um, she's a adoptable that I had gotten not too long ago. And um, currently her whole gimmick is that she tries to scare people, but she's not very scary. But once she, like, reveals what's underneath the sheet that she has on top of her, it's, like, something horrifying. Yeah, so I'll have to draw versions of her with and without the sheet. But she is a ghost. But this is just like a rough of her. I'll have to really tweak how I'm going to design her when I give her her own page. I was thinking of working on her artwork after I'm done with this. Okay, so here's the full the full setup for everybody here. At first I wasn't going to color everybody, but I might as well. Let me just put these four on their own layer just in case. Uh, I could probably merge it all. Well, she doesn't realize that what she has underneath is, like, horrifying. Um, she just thinks she's not scary on her own. And then when they do get scared, she just, like, she doesn't know what scared them exactly, but she still drums it up to like, okay, maybe she is scary and it just took a while. Like, oh, it was a delayed scare. Horror boobs. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember <laughs> that Spongebob episode. That was a good episode. Alright, on to coloring, and this will be hell <laughs> to color all this. Uh, where is this dry line up? Oh, that's not too bad, it only covers up a bit of his ear. But luckily we're just doing flat colors, I'm not trying to do the works on this. Some parts may or may not make sense based on where everybody is. Well, luckily it's all flat coloring, so I'm not gonna, like, drive myself insane with with the shading. Did I miss a piece of your tail? Yes, I did. Somehow I missed that part of her tail. Let's try this again.
Yeah, it changed up her expression just a little bit to better fit the page. I like how I call her Evil Blake, despite not really. Like, all she really is in that world, or in that version of her, is she's just a bitch. She's just like an unhelpful brat. That's pretty much it. <laughs> she potentially could do more than that, but I haven't really dove into that personality. Other than she's just rich. <laughs> Braddy Blake. Bra Blake. <laughs> Good lord. It's literally just Blake, but she's more Valley Girl. Okay, I think I grabbed everything. Nope, forgot that part of the tail. Okay, now I think I got everything. Alright. Alright, what's the most prominent fucking color that would be here? Probably white. And, or actually, it might be half and half. So let me just grab... Lightish blue. Do do do. Get my colors. Let me look at the Astacast that had the most recent to or the recent CC. Because just like I thought, she has a slightly different color. Yeah, she's more of a gray. So I'm just going to do gray for this, so that way characters with more grayish tone can get that instead of looking too blue. So yeah, that'll be the base. All right, now we're just pretty much gonna go down the list <laughs> and have to grab colors from each of the characters. So CC will be first since she's already here. It's easier just to call her CC because <laughs> if I say her actual name, it's just gonna be a confusing mess. It's like, why is her name that? It's like, look, high school was a long ass time ago. Uh, is this a different color? Yes, it is. I like how the range of who's older on this page is from like high school to now. Well, yeah, cause like, okay, let me type out what her how her name looks <laughs> in the chat. So this is what her name is, and the only reason why her name is even that to begin with is because it's more of a pun from um, the anime Fully Cooly. And it's an inside pun, so only I'm going to even know that joke. 
and why I even named her that way. <laughs> but I refuse to change her name. <laughs> so, if it makes it easier on anybody, including characters from her own story, calling her CC is like the easiest way to address her without pissing her off. Because she's literally a vampire queen. Originally, she was going to be part dragon. Because she was going to have, like, her own comic. And it had to do with, like, people who were just dr driven insane. But then I decided to make her more vampire. And then keep the insane part, because that's just, like, an after effect of her own doing. And, yeah, just made her interact with other characters such as Gretchen who who is a pig a woman who gets turned into a vampire and Cece likes to have fun with her now the question is is this a different color because this is a deep red, and this is pretty much the same color. Okay, cool. That works for me. Uh, cool. The vamp pig. <laughs> uh, like my name, which is ironic for a reason. Hentai, ah. <laughs> Yeah, the, char the character I have in the background artwork right now is um, Gretchen. I'll show her full art real quick. Because... Do -do -do. So this is Gretchen. Gretchen Ebony. She big piggy. Though she wasn't originally a big piggy. She was pretty thin for a pig. But when she became a vampire, she got really into eating meat. <laughs> Especially raw meat. And then Cece comes to visit her every every once in a while. And they both have a little fun. And then Gretchen tries to have a normal life despite being part vampire. And Cece allows her to, like... Um... Allows her to like tone down the the vampirism because it's like part of a deal that they make with each other. So yeah, CC, she doesn't really have an update to her artwork yet. Um, uh, I can grab her most or her current artwork. Let me find it. Like, this is hella old. Because, like, th this is her current full body art. That I made, Jesus, that was not that long ago. And then... This is... Let me find it. Uh, I think it's an Astacast. This was her... I think this was the most recent that I drew her. With Gretchen. Uh, oh, sorry, I must have missed this. Property outfit, but True Blake's giving me them... Sarah Connor vibes. <laughs> yeah, it's probably the outfit. So yeah, that's the relationship of those two. Don't oh, your cat's hiding inside your hoodie. That's still cute. Uh, 
Okay, so next we might as well we'll do the outfit. Because she wears more of a white outfit. That's separate from her fur. Because she has like more of a grayish fur color. But her outfit is still like more closer to pale white. And that's so and so's hair. I say this as I notice that I put a line through it, so I will have to fix that in a moment. And I'll probably have to might as well just put a line through that too while I'm here. Okay. To do Dun dun dun. There we go. Jesus, this is way more noticeable on this screen than it is on that one. Might be a little too blue for what I'm looking for. Hold on, let me move this to this screen for a moment. Eh? It's not bothering me as much as it is right now. It might be just because it's by itself. So it'll probably look nicer once the other colors come in. So I will leave it alone for now. There we go. is the gray. I like that despite the Terminator movies having a range of pros and cons, there's still part of it where you can just say, okay, this is the canon that I will follow, and it's perfectly valid, because they all basically have different timelines going on. So that's the benefit to that series. And I know there's an empty spot right here, but you can kind of pull in his leg to work for that. So I'm just going to leave it. Alright, let's see. Kind of fitting that of all the characters I start coloring, it would be her. She's 
she is the second oldest on this list. Or on this page. First would be Jolly, who is the rabbit on the left. On the top left. Or Jalez, if you go by his other name that he has in, in the storyline. Do I gotta get your nose? There we go. Lots to do, so little time. get the metal first. I should probably save. That would be a smart thing to do. Sorry about that. Just talking to my brother for a brief moment. Next would be her eyes. Text my brother something real quick.
Okay. So, let's do your eyes. And she has little darker dips in her hair. Do do do. Might as well grab those now. Sissy would probably love Blake. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, if she ever met Blake, she'd be like, oh my god, yes. <laughs> South Park. Um, okay, I had to think about the cousin for a moment. <laughs> Say, I'm back. <laughs> it's been a while since I watched South Park. <laughs> No, you're not too late. It's, it's um, oh, only five minutes to an hour.
the same color as well just so they fit all right so we got CC done do Jolly because I think he'll be less work that is not where he is he is in this folder okay now is he a bluish white no, he is not. He too is a grayish color. But is he the same gray as CC? No, CC is slightly lighter than him. <laughs> so I'm not going to bother in, um, dealing with his fur because they're basically the same. So I will move on to the next thing. We'll do is. I'll do his eye color first. Uh, would it look like this or would it be more like this? Oh, you didn't have the best day at school? Oh, Well, yeah, ho hopefully just chilling with us will make things better. Trust me, I know school sucks. Especially when you slowly figure out that certain things you do in school don't really apply later. So you kind of just got to make the best of it. Yeah, most things. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm really surprised that telling you how to do taxes wasn't really a priority. At least not when I went. I was just like, huh, you think that would be important?
And granted, it's not that complicated when you, you know, go to a person who specializes in it. But still, it's just like, you know, would have been useful knowledge. Yeah, because like I've done my taxes uh, with uh, with a person who specializes in it, and most of the time she just goes over, you know, what was your income, what um, like did you spend anything that that actually had to do with your career, and you know you get the taxes on all those or whatever the case may be, because you you know you gotta save the receipts on whatever it is your that involves your job. And then, you know, there's, like, other expenses, too. Like, you know, do you have a family? Blah, 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 blah. And then they just break it down, and then they just say, okay, this is how much you're going to owe the government, and then that's it. That's, like, pretty much. And then, they like, you know, if you if you've actually earned money, then they'll let you know on that. But that's kind of it. Like, it's, it's not super complicated, because they explain it to you pretty well, pretty easily. But it's just surprising that that wasn't a priority. Uh, I'll make these to your own layer just in case. Yeah. It's just one of those things where you just gotta, like, whatever career you're going for, you just gotta... You gotta, like, figure out the, the... Not the business world, but, like, just, like, the market that involves whatever job you're going for. And, um... You know, try to... Try to cater to it in a way. Like, you know, for example, let's just say... In my case, oh, there's not enough fat content, and a lot of people want fat content. Then draw fat content. <laughs> that you know, stuff like that. Like you know, just break it down to something as simple as that, if possible, and go from there. And sometimes it sucks. Sometimes you end up like people, like even me, me. Um, sometimes you end up doing things you don't want to do. And that's more of a necessity rather than, like, a real want. It's like, nobody's technically forcing you to do these things, but, you know, it's a necessary evil. Because it's kind of like with artists. It's like, a lot of artists don't want to do fan art all the time. But sometimes it's a necessary thing because, you know, it'll get people coming to you. So, like, for example, if you want to get some traffic coming to, coming to you to see your artwork and stuff like that, draw characters like, you know, Luna and Crystal and Renamon and Lop and uh, Lopany and stuff like that. But then once you have some people coming to you, then you can slowly start pushing out your own stuff for whatever your whether other interests you have. And then, you know, that's how that's how you develop your audience over time. So it's just one of those things. post-college you want to learn something yeah like because for at least in at least for me it feels like as I went to college that was right when college was becoming irrelevant like obviously some businesses will still say you know you need a degree and blah 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 blah, blah. and then there's still you know certain jobs where yes getting a degree is definitely what you should be getting for a particular job, like, you know, like, medical. Because, like, there's some jobs that I feel you don't skip out on. You gotta, you know, get that education. But then, like, me... I went to I went to school for media arts and animation. And it was right when college was slowly being phased out for that kind of medium. Because a lot of this stuff you can just learn online now. <laughs> the bloody bunny yeah I remember that but yeah it's just 
It just it heavily depends on your career choices and stuff like that. But um But yeah, certain things it feels like you don't need to go to college for. And some people haven't. Like hell, even when I was working in movies for a while. Um or um on the stereo 3D stuff. There was like a guy who said that he didn't even there was like a coworker that I was with. He was much older than me. And he said he didn't even finish high school, but he had been working on films for several years. I think he said like over a decade or something like that. And I was just like, huh. <laughs> okay. And at that point, that was probably the case of, you know, who you know situation as well. So, sometimes, a lot of, or I can't even say sometimes or a lot of times, it's just a mixed bag. It's just like, there will be moments where it just boils down to timing. Because timing is important. Right place, right time, or did something at the right time. Uh, with that one paper from school, you're... Yeah. It just depends on what your aim is at and where you're going, or where you're trying to go. non diversion straight important with flipping burgers. <laughs> I mean, again, like, Long Division could be important depending on the area of that career. But if you're just doing that, then no, it wouldn't really be that important. Just do what you love, and the pieces will usually fall in place. Yeah, it's like... It's like pieces will fall in, but you also have to manipulate the pieces in order to make them go where you want them to go. Because you can't you can't solely rely on luck um, to make things happen. You have to manipulate the luck as well, and it's not always going to be like a hundred percent. Like you can't completely control a scenario, even if you you know figure everything out as you know as much as possible. There are just some elements that you just have no say in. But the best you can do is, you know, if things don't go a particular way that you're looking for, you have to tr you have to try to adapt and then still try to, you know, adjust it as best as you can. What do you do when you hate yourself? <laughs> I mean, I'm not a therapist, but the best I can say is, you know, find something that you enjoy and, you know, try to try to enjoy yourself during those hard times you know just sit and chill when you have free time and you know remind yourself you know what yes this is what I get up in the morning for and it's tough you know congratulations you wasted time and money you'll never get back on education stop gawking at the degree and start moving boxes I mean, there are people who can take it that way. It's like, yeah, sometimes people will feel that they wasted a lot of time and money doing something that in the end probably didn't work out. But that can unfortunately go with literally anything. Like, let's just say hypothetically, AI just took off. and Like, AI art just completely took, took off. Like, there was no backlash or anything like that then, you know, artists would be screwed over. And then there's, like, nothing they can do about it. They'd have to figure out how they're going to change their career or at least try to adapt to um, to AI being a thing. Because right now, even though AI art is a thing, it doesn't, it doesn't um, eliminate specialists because there will always be something that they can do that AI art can't do. So it's more of like, even if there's like a dire situation, you have to like figure out how to take advantage of it. 
obviously I can't say it will work for everybody because you know there's just so many factors that go into play in situational stuff that I may or may not know about but um yeah it, like a lot of things just have to do with being an opportunist you just gotta take a hard look at a situation and act uh, act accordingly something like that sure. you're part of the thibo group <laughs> you couldn't be happier <laughs> yeah exactly you can buy a plastic bowl at a store and there's a mess Well, even with um, machine-made um, products, there's still people who have to do something with the machines to, to prevent the machines from messing up. So there's there's always going to be a job in situations like that. The, prob the only problem is that there are lesser jobs over time because of, you know, whatever the situation may be. Because, it's like, you know... Um, a machine comes into play, takes, you know, it, 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 uh, removes a certain amount of people who had a, a specific job that the machine now does. But you still need human input because, you, you know, everything just can't be 100% automated. There's always going to be the potential of something going wrong. So in those situations, you'd have to have the people who can fix those problems. It's like, oh your your machine is breaking down well i know how to fix it or i know what step in the process that will mess up and you need me to be there to make sure that doesn't happen so there's situations like that i am going to color all of this black uh, i want to color it black you know yeah because there are some characters that just don't need those patterns anymore no god damn it this is one of those situations where i'm like does this need a redesign or should i just yeah i'll make it all black just because of this situation i can always change it later when i make his final art uh, let me allow that It's just how I think you get junk food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, AI is basically like, you know, you can get the fast stuff if you want, but if you really want something really specific, you're going to have to go to an artist for it. And even now, like, with the with the, with the way AI art is currently... Um, like you're pretty much just gonna get samey stuff because you know there's only so far it goes, and then it's obviously not gonna be super accurate with certain character designs, and so you have to. You know what? I'm just gonna do it this way. Um, like, currently for AI art, there's limits, and those limits will get old pretty quickly, and it's pretty much up to those who know those limits to take advantage of it, because it's like, okay, AI can only do this, that means people are still not going to get in exactly what they want. And it's, you know, it's kind of impossible for the AI to figure that out. Because, like, you could give them reference, but that would that would um, imply that you would require an artist to give you the exact thing that you're looking for. Or, you know, if you're trying to find real-life stuff, that's still, like, a uh, photo artist who's, you know, supplying that information and stuff like that. And you're just better off talking to the artist. But, yeah... Seeing AI art as more like junk food is a pretty good um, way of, lo of looking at it. 
And that's when I realized, hey, dumbass, is this thing on this side or the other side? And I'm pretty sure it's on the other side. Let's see how right I was. Yep. Uh, know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to color it black and move on with my life. Sorry about that. Oh no, I was talking to my brother because um, um, he was asking me stuff about about a about a, about a car because he's um fixing his car. So I was just telling him some stuff. I know very little about cars, I only know some things. <laughs> but um, give me a few minutes, I want to check and make sure what he's doing um, doesn't like damage the car. So give me like, f just give me like a few minutes. I'm going to go check real quick. So I will be back.
I'm back. He's doing good. I was just making sure he, he um, wasn't damaging the car. <laughs> well, yeah, like the thing I was telling him was really simple. I was just making sure he could find it. Because all it was is just um, changing a tire, but like, um, I told him that cars usually have like a, like a uh, bar that you can put the jack on, so that way it's easier to lift it up. And he's like very tall, so that's why him getting down to look at, to look for it was a bit of a challenge. But he found it. I was just, um, and, he, and I just told him, like, you know, if he needed me, just to call me or text me or whatever. All right. Anything further than changing a tire and, I don't know, probably something else minor. Um, anything further than that, I don't know, you gotta go find a guy. <laughs> the thing that always baffled my mind, though, was, because um, this happened to me, where my car comes with a jack, right? And... It comes with a part that, you know, attaches to the jack so you can lift it up and all that. And it also doubles as um, as a type of screwdriver for tires um, to put the bolts on and all that. But that jack and, and all that, all the accessories was bolted into my car itself. So I required um, tools in order to get the tool out. If I was in a situation and I was like, wait, why isn't this just, you know, it's in the car and I pull it out? Why is it secure inside my car? And like, it would be different if it was like, okay, there's nothing in my car to keep it in place, but like it's underneath like the mat itself in the trunk. So there's no way anything could possibly get to the jack without lifting up the, the, the mat. So it just baffled my mind. I was like, wait. <laughs> oh yeah, like a lot of YouTube videos have been very useful nowadays for like certain certain problems. Like obviously, if it's too much for you, definitely go to a specialist. But if you can, like, eat, figure out a simple situation through a YouTube video, that's way more useful than it used to be. Hold on, let me check on him real quick.
Huh, thought he was inside. <laughs> oh well. Take care. I'm assuming somebody's leaving, that's why I said take care. <laughs> yeah, it was Pablo. Okay. So, do do do. Well, that's good. If it's free, that's a plus. Hopefully, it's um, a type of school that focuses um, on certain educational practices. Because the only downside to certain things is just mostly when they. Um, take advantage of I think it's like the government system on how money is given to each school so hopefully the focus isn't heavily on just putting butts in seats or because like because I know there are some schools that they will try to make passing tests as easy as possible because they'll get more money from from it So it's one of it, one of those things, or hopefully it's not one of those things. I don't know. Babbles the mind and how irresponsible and greedy certain people can be. Like, I want a shit ton of money now, and I'm willing to fuck over every single person possible to get there. Even though that money is very limited and fleeting. But screw it. That's good. As long as, as long as it actually gives you a proper education. Sorry, I up my throat. God. But yeah, as long as it gives you a proper education, then yeah, that's a good thing. They never gave you a textbook? That's messed up. Yeah, like, hell, even a digital textbook would be better off nowadays. Like, obviously there are issues with getting digital products and stuff like that. Like, you know, people just taking the product and either selling it themselves or just, you know, posting it wildly. I mean, that's going to happen, but it's way better than, the, than not having textbooks in, at all. I mean, it's been a long time since I've been in high school or even co college now, but, like, I don't even know if they expect 110% at this point. Because, like, maybe society and, like, governments and stuff like that are expecting that, but, like, schools are just trying to, well, 
I can't say this for every school, but I know some schools focus solely on just pushing you out. So it kind of just depends on the scenario and where you're at. And unfortunately, in a lot of situations, it, it's like, okay, did you have a good spawn a spawn rate? <laughs> like, did you did you appear in this particular town or something? Which is sad, but it's unfortunate. And there's really nothing you can do about that. Like, that's just the way of the world, unfortunately. Because, unfortunately, not every area in, on the planet is equal. I'm like, oh yeah, I should probably get the reference for this character. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna make her hair black. I'm like, oh wait, dumbass. May I ask my lord, in what country of origin? Well, I'm in America. But even America has its own ups and downs. Now here's my dilemma. She is more of a pale white. So I might actually do that. America has a bad spawn. Eh, it depends. Depends on the scenario. Because despite all the bad shit going on, there are still ways that you can go your entire life being completely unaware of the things that go on. Unless it, like, super di um, directly affects you. But you can be completely oblivious, or even live a more simpler life where you're just, like, you know, in a cabin in a woods somewhere and just chilling every day. You just, you know, go and hunt or collect wood or whatever the case may be. And, you know, just, uh... Just trade to get what you need and there you go. That's, your, that's pretty much your life. Doesn't have to be super complicated. The faith generation is terrible. Like, it just, like, I don't know. There are, like, some people who just go to the extreme with a lot of things. And I, I won't even say, like, these days, because this has always been a thing. It's just more that, due to social media now existing, it's a lot more easy to come and con or to become aware of these situations and it know it and know they exist so it's more like how often are you going to see that information and if you do does that information even make sense to begin with civ joke uh i only know a little bit of civilization I'm assuming that's what it, what Civ means. <laughs> I'm assuming it's civilization. I only played that game like once. Spooky ghost doing spooky things. Let's make sure I got the right color for this. There we go. I don't even know which one I played. It was I, it might have been 
Honestly, I don't know, because it was one my friend showed me. And I think this was, like, back in... O's, between, like, 06 and 08. So, whatever version was out during that time. Okay, there's this, but I still think she should be more pale in comparison to everyone else. Yeah, because this is just flat out white. What color is this? Well, this one's dirty gray. So I guess I'll keep her the same colors since she's pretty much matched up with everyone else. Yeah, I guess I'll leave her for now. Can always tweak her when I give her her own art. Okay, she was probably the easiest character. She's literally like two colors. Three if you count the skin and cloth. Ah, uh, what matters is what matters. What matters is... Can't see life without fat girls. <laughs> Good. <laughs> we, we, need, we need more of that. Um, I feel that um, well, things called be friends of the country. Yeah. Luckily, luckily, time phases out a lot of things. We just have to endure it during those moments. It's not fair, but at least it's at least we know that there's a finite amount of time. It's not like. Oh, as long as this person has this much money, they can run it forever, type of situation. And then at some point, certain people are going to get phased out, and, you know, just to just due to time and all that. So, it'll be interesting once more younger people are put in, but then, but at the same time, you got to think about, you know, where do they come from and what interests do they have. Because it may not, it's, I mean, it's not always going to line up, unfortunately. And you know, a lot of the times, if they're if they're brought up to, you know, just be more focused on trying to make a, as much money as possible, then it's pretty much not entirely an endless cycle, but it definitely promotes it. Because they will be less willing to properly help people in the future, if that makes sense. It's kind of like when people try to act like they're down to earth, and but then they'll say stupid shit like, you know, oh, you know, I grew up with a $1 million loan from so-and-so, or, you know, whether it be a family member or even a friend, and it's like, Dude, you literally just got a handout in the beginning of, of starting your career. You don't understand how people more grounded feel. If that makes any sense. So, there's always going to be situations like that. until somebody gets put in a position where they properly understand where everyone comes from and stuff like that. And it's still like not going to be 100% fair. Like I don't I don't I honestly don't think that's that's going to happen anytime soon. Not without a lot of radical changes. But as long as people are actually making the effort to try then there's a possibility. Yeah, like, small loan of a billion dollars. I was just like, dude, <laughs> I don't know who the hell you're trying to talk to now, but you literally just alienated, like, almost all of the people who, who are trying to, you know, understand you and get where you're coming from. 
It's like, I don't know who your writer is for this speech or whatever, but that was definitely not the best thing to say. Such is life. Sometimes win, so always, always lose. I like I don't know because it's kind of hard to say whether it's a, actually losing because even when you lose you're still getting some form of experience and some form of information and it just boils down to how you use that information at that point but again like everything is circumstantial like I I there's not there's not really much more I can really tell I can really say on the matter because it's like I don't know everyone's um, situations i don't know where they live what their financial situations are or you know just a, just the normal shit that goes on in their lives like you know it could have been like you know somebody's significant other passed away or family member passed away and so a bunch of shit happened so they lost some money or they made or you know spent some money uh to for for whatever situation like a car broke down there's so much shit that goes on in one day that is it is impossible to completely address everything like you can relate to somebody and you know you can totally understand if something is shitty but after that it's like it's like what more can you say unless you you yourself were around for these events to transpire and get the full context of But the most I can say is, you know, if you're able to just, you know, try to analyze and address the situation and make the best of it. It's really all you can do is just try to get try to get something out of it if possible. Oh, yeah, I'm totally going to make your hair a lot more wilder when I make your artwork. No, I need lemon lime. There we go. And yeah, unfortunately there are just some people who just don't care. And unfortunately some of those people either run the country or a good portion of it or you know have influence of it a lot of times it is i get confused when it's like very obvious that the person has very ill intent and there are still people who will support them, even though those people are the ones who are getting screwed over. It's like going up to somebody and saying, hey, I'm going to steal $500 from you. And they're like, okay, cool. Yeah, that sounds great. And I'm like, what? Those are just my mild thoughts on the matter, because obviously I'm not super deep into the situation to really properly explain anything. That is not the color we are using for this. We are using black, thank you very much. There we go. No. Yes. There we go. You, why were you not colored? Which is weird because I thought it got selected, but it wasn't colored. 
to do. Jesus. That is a lot of money. Slowly going through the characters. We'll get there though. I guess it's okay using this white for everything because it just kind of, like aside from her dress, it kind of ties in. But I think I need the bluish white for Lemon Lime's outfit specifically. And then she also has, like, you know, normal eyes. is normal really <laughs> right especially in this world it's like what the hell is normal it's like I don't know we got giant naked women and and you know people who are half cat half human half I don't know whatever else dragon then we got slime people then we got fucking robots and artificial intelligence. And sexy robot um, made women. So I don't know anymore. I guess the answer is, is like, cool. <laughs> it's like, we li cool, we live in this kind of world. But then there's like demons and gods and shit like that going on, so there's all that too. There is interesting and boring. Uh, I mean, I'm sure everyone has something interesting about them, even if it's mild. Or something small, there's bound to be something interesting. pure humans. Um, if you're talking about my world, yeah, there are still pure human characters still. Or human people. Uh, they face my entire spare. Excuse me a moment, I need to check something. I don't need to leave, but I'm gonna check it on other screen. Just to make sure this stupid nonsense isn't happening. Ah, uh, there's this. Let's take a look. Blah 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 blah. Okay, I don't <sighs> Like there's so many fucking fishing emails that I keep getting and it's really fucking obvious that they are phishing emails 
and it's it's funny how much they don't put any effort into them. Like I remember one of them was all like, "Oh, your package didn't arrive," but then like their email was like pizza something or whatever, and I'm just like, "Wow, you didn't even try to trick me." I mean, you know, good for us for when it's super obvious and you just ignore the emails, but Jesus. Like, when your IQ is, is room temperature, you know, something's, something's just laughable at that point. And even then, like, I know what sites I go on, so every time they try to advertise shit to me, or they try to be like, oh, your package for this didn't show up, I was like, dude, I don't buy anything. <laughs> if there was anything I wanted, it wouldn't be from certain websites, so... Nice try, I guess. And I always go to the websites directly anyway. I don't go through emails. outfit you know let's change up the background picture it's been Gretchen for quite a while now properties browse uh, who to bring in who to bring in Let's bring in. Let's bring in Tiffany. We haven't had her in a while. Let me just move it. There we go. I'll need to make something to separate the screen from the background art. So that way it's not so put together. We like the demons and stuff even though it is still Yeah. I can I can see wanting that wanting that. Cause uh it would definitely suck if there was like nothing at in the end and like you couldn't even experience an afterlife. It was just, you know, you flicker out and then you're gone. And, like, you wouldn't even be able to... Like, assuming that you, you know, continue on to exist after the fact, you wouldn't be able to see people's reactions if you were if you were, you were gone and all that. You wouldn't at least find out if anyone cared. Nowadays, the prayers I do are the only ones for the day. Yeah, that's understandable. Do do. Nothing wrong with with um with all that, you know. Even if you're even if you're Italian, you can still enjoy stuff. Take advantage. It's like, oh, I'm Italian. I can do this. Yay. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Like, the only way Black Nothing would be worse is if, like, you're still conscious and you're just in a void. Like, that part would suck. But assuming there's, like, straight up nothing, nothing, like, not even a consciousness, and I guess it's not that bad in comparison to still existing and there's nothing. Because at least then you wouldn't, like, be conscious to even be aware of, of the absolute nothing. But if you were still conscious, then that's just maddening. You would literally, you would probably go insane. But then you probably, after a few, you know, decade or um not even a decade after a few millennia or centuries or however long of going insane you'll probably get bored of that and become sane again i know that'd be my situation i'd be like no i went crazy and then i get bored of that and then it stopped being crazy Personally, I think the afterlife is whatever your interp your interpretation of it is. Like, whatever you truly believe, believe in, whether, you know, heaven, hell, or whatever other afterlife you've come up with, personally, I think that's what it's going to end up for, for people individually. I don't think it's a unified thing. Or, not, or like, you know, I don't think it's like a set in stone thing that people have made up but we'll we'll each find out at some point me it'll take a while because I'll find a reason to live forever so I can draw forever so if you guys figure out how to come back you, you know let me know you be like yo it's like this I'm like damn guess I shouldn't have gotten immortality my bad. <laughs> but I'd probably be chill with that, honestly. That would be weird if that was like some weird flex in the end. I was like, yo, look at this guy, he's still alive. I was like, what the fuck? It's <laughs> like, what the hell kind of flex is that? Your afterlife, you're just a village gets Taco Bell. <laughs> look, sometimes if it's even something as simple as that, that's like way better than, than not um, having anything or like believing in anything. It's like, whatever gets you up in the morning, that's the thing you gotta strive for. Though, of course, unfortunately, this would also apply to negative things, but, you know. Whatever happens, happens. Me, I'm just gonna continue drawing furries and fat chicks. And whatever else I decide to draw. <laughs> I just keep my, my life very simple. There, there is not much I want in life. I just want to sit and draw and work on comics because I enjoy it. SPC stuff is weird. Furries, fat chicks, and fat furry chicks. <laughs> exactly. Like, I believe supernatural things can happen. I just don't believe a lot of it happens currently. And if it does happen, it's like very, very, very minor. Because we went, we go through life with all these like crazy ass stories and shit like that. And then we come to a realization that hardly any of this shit actually happens. And if it did happen, all that shit pieced out a long time ago. 
and if it still exists, it's it's like barred itself from from us or at least th um, this plane because it's just like why bother? <laughs> and so now I'm more pissed off <laughs> that all the fantastical shit is elsewhere, <laughs> and we're stuck in this fucking scenario where it's like, man, would be awesome to have fucking bunny women and cat women roaming around. Wouldn't that be fucking cool? <laughs> but no. <laughs> We just have the most basic bitch shit going on. It's like, oh, we're super amazing. Like, are we? <laughs> like, we got we got a lot of really lame shit going on right now. Be be super down if cat women existed. <laughs> Like, thank God I'm in the furry mentality, because cause that is way more interesting than all the other boring shit. And, like, I like elf characters, but even then, I see elves as kind of boring to a degree. Because they're just, like, just a, a one tier higher than human, like, in games and stuff like that. Like, I still see them as pretty boring. <laughs> But then you get all like the animal characters and shit like that. Like, all right, now we can work with something here. Yeah, like imagine having a fat house cat wife. <laughs> like, obviously, there's gonna be points where you know it's almost like you know it, where it's just gonna be like living like with a normal woman and all that. But but like think of how slightly more interesting it would be if it was like a fat a fat cat wife. Like you come home from a hard day's work, she she like you, she notices that you, that something's wrong. She she sits down, big old big fluff. You just lay on her like a pillow, and she starts burning. And then like you know you chill for like five minutes, and then you say like oh uh, let me make dinner, or or she'll say she made dinner or some shit. Like you know, just have some fun with the scenario. <laughs> and if that were to happen in real life, that'd be fucking sick. Even if, like, you know, eventually that would become the norm. So some people may not even think of that as interesting at the, after a certain point. But in our current sense of life, that's way more interesting than than anything else. But that's just me. I may be crazy <laughs> at this point. Just be like, oh my god, he's just talking about furry shit the entire time. Like, yeah, yeah, I am. And that's, <laughs> and that's what keeps me going. Like, if I somehow gained the ability to just rewrite reality, <laughs> shit like that would be my first thing to do. <laughs> of course, I practiced to make sure everything worked out the way I wanted it to, but definitely, definitely would uh, put more attention. Oh my god, you three are dark compared to the, to the others. <laughs> I'm going to brighten you up just so we can fucking see you. Unless I just somehow pick the wrong color. Seriously, why are you three hella dark? Either this screen over here is super jank, or there's like an effect or something that's going on that I'm not noticing. <clears throat> Let me bring up Eden and see. Because Eden has a pretty standard color scheme. I'm looking at this, I'm like, something's wrong here. <laughs> uh, that's only slightly lighter. Or did it get darker? Yeah, it actually got darker. Well, I am going to brighten this up. Seriously, though, why is it so bright on this side? Hold on, let me drag this over here. Hmm. She's dark on this screen, so maybe it has to do with my screen adjustments. But it doesn't feel like that, that like that when I draw them. That's weird. <clears throat> then again, she could have a filter on her. So let me open up her file. Cause now, now I just gotta know. <laughs> I just gotta be like, all right, what the fuck did I do with your file? Watch me open it, and there's like nothing wrong. 
llamas? The fact that I'm not a furry, I just enjoy your art and stories. That's good. Because, like, again, I've had people tell me that they may not like the the theme or or the weight gain stuff or whatever other, you know, gimmick that is in my comics and all that. But they still enjoy the characters and all that. So that's a good thing. If I can get you to enjoy the the comic, then I've done something right. And I was right. There was nothing wrong with this. This is weird. Huh. And, like, you can still see her, so maybe I'm just tripping. So I'll keep them like this for now. And if I feel like adjusting their colors, then I will. It could be just because they don't have other colors to brighten them up. Because that can always be the case where if you don't have, like, surrounding complementary color colors for designs... They'll look a little off in the beginning. <clears throat> Alright, you guys, you take care. Okay, I'm into fat chicks as well. I like big women. I mean, I like most body types, if not all. But I do lean towards big women more often than not. But nothing wrong with skinny women, either. Luckily, I have female friends that are... that go all over the place with the body type spectrum. Because the majority of my friends are women. I would say like 90, 95% of my friends are women. May the words of the Bible help you through the day. <laughs> exactly. May the Lord bless you with... with with jiggly thighs and a bountiful booty. <laughs> Let me save. I haven't done that in a while. Damn, has it really been fucking two hours already? Jesus. Like, I didn't really stop too often to to get distracted by anything, so we've been sitting there coloring. But then again, it's like fucking, what is this, seven characters? Yeah, it's seven characters on screen, so I shouldn't be surprised that it's taken a while. Even with the uh, bucket tool. And then there's some stuff I just have to go over personally. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Feels even shorter than yesterday. Yeah, and I stopped like 15 minutes early yesterday, too. Yesterday definitely felt longer. And it's like the same, it's almost the same amount of time. It's like I've been doing this for over, over two hours. With the exception of yesterday of me leaving um, 15 minutes early, yesterday definitely felt longer. Because what I do yesterday, I did, I was working on pumpkin pie, drawing her big butt, and then I even drew her, at least rough version of her boyfriend, and then we went on to drawing the two Blakes, because I didn't draw the fat one until last night. And even then, it felt way longer than this. 
Maybe when maybe or it's probably that line art. Well, no, because I was coloring yesterday too. I don't know. <laughs> Because I was going to say, li maybe line art just feels longer than coloring. But that can't be the case, because I did both. For a brief moment, I was like, what is that? And I'm like, oh yeah, because that's part of her pants. And if that's the case, that means that these are her gigantic thighs over here. Okay, now the black doesn't seem so dark now, now that I'm working in it. Because I was sitting there going like, why is it so dark? And now I'm like, okay, it's not as dark as I thought it was. Yeah, I went to go do all that. Uh, let me translate this so I know what you're talking about. Moving from seeing all versions of Marcy and seeing, yeah. Oh, mine's the first one. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all we do, all 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 we're doing is just chilling, and mo most of the time I'm gonna draw. But like on um on Saturday, I'll be playing a game. Probably some Ark Knights and then Skullgirls. If I'm taking a wild guess of what I'll be playing, because that's usually just like the main ones that I've been doing. I did play Smasher and the uh, Will of the Fix the other day, um, last week. That was fun. It was a lot shorter than I thought it'd be. I thought it was a lot longer than that, but hopefully more levels get added. Because I know he was working on that. I'll try asking him sometime if I... if um, After I like research just to see if there's like more and I just missed it. Because that could be the case. It could be like, you know, do something and unlocks more levels or something. But, uh... But yeah, because um, with my new schedule, Mondays and Fridays are my days off from streaming. Like, I still draw and all that, but I'm not going to stream on those days. And then Saturday will be gaming. And then Sunday, I'll stream on um, Picardo so I can stream some, like, risque stuff. That way we're not missing out on that. Witch of Gluttony. I have not heard of that one. I'll have to look that one up. Witch of Gluttony. Let me write that, or let me just type it in while in my um, tab, so that way, when I stop streaming, I'll just have it up. So I will just click this for now. Game, Witch of Gluttony. Okay, I'll check that out later. Don't meet me. Oh yeah, for like for um, Arknights, hell yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Like uh, when I was showing off Arknights last week, I was showing off um, Tomimi, who, at least currently, I would consider being like the actual thick character of the game. <laughs> Not because she's like chubby or anything, but just because she has fucking thick ass thighs and a fat tail. Because she's like alligator, I believe. Let me check. I don't know if she's an alligator or if she's supposed to be an alligator or a crocodile. Are you an alligator or a crocodile? I don't even know if they'll even say. Uh, let me type in Tomimi Arknight's animal and see if that comes up. Well, then again, they come up with their own races and stuff like that. So she's like a... I think a Sargon or something like that or whatever... 
No, she's a Arcosauria. So, whatever reptile people that means. <laughs> so, looking at the artwork of her creature. It looks like a croc. But the tail is too is more like alligator. I'm gonna I'm just gonna stick with alligator for now. That's my headcanon <laughs> for the moment until I learn more. We you consider playing something like Terraria or Minecraft. I have never played either. If I, I um I know one of my friends wanted to try to get me into Minecraft. If I ever played Minecraft I would just be in build mode the entire time, and I would just build fucking, um, um, like, Marcy and Skyler's fucking street address. <laughs> I would just be sitting there just building shit like that. I would just literally build the world of iHat <laughs> in fucking Minecraft. Like, I've already seen myself doing that. If I ever play that game. That is that is the exact mindset I'll just have. I'll be like, all right, so here's Skylar's room. This is how this is built. Over here is the fucking kitchen. <laughs> and then when we go outside, Marcy's house is way the fuck down here. That's why they're able to walk there. Like, I know that would be the case. I know I will do this. Like, I will be lost just doing that. And then if anyone's like, oh, what's the place they live in? I just have fucking Minecraft maps. <laughs> it's like, okay, this is what it looks like in Minecraft. <laughs> it's like, oh, did you draw any of this yet? And I'm like, no, I just made it in Minecraft. That's it. <laughs> that is, that's the only proof that they exist outside of this. <laughs> It'd be funny, though, if I use, like, the Minecraft maps as like what the characters use in like the comic where it's like oh we're t we're using Google map and it just shows a picture of fucking Minecraft ah uh, that'd be funny I could try to do some of your OC in Terraria I need to look up Terraria I, I know I've heard of the game I do not remember if I've seen it I do not recall shit about Terraria. I just know it exists. Because I know I've heard of it. I just do not remember if I've seen it. Two D Minecraft to refresh my mind. I would, you know, and let me just Google it because I do not remember. Uh, Terraria. I'll just go on images. Okay, yeah, I've seen this before. I'll have to look into it. Because I've only seen, like, glimpses of it. I don't think I've, like, sat down to actually pay attention to what's going on. Not Queen Empress. There was that one uh, weight gain game that um, that Ada Bea de, lo, de lo, uh, um, played. Forget the name of it. It's like some tribal thing. So it looked like it looked like it was pretty fun, and I like that it has like multiple endings. Because it's like there's weight gain, there's vor, and there's eggs, and there's inflation. It's like all of those put together into a, like a fighting mechanic. Tribal Hunter, is that what it was? Yeah, one of these days I'll have to get more games and make sure my fucking computer doesn't explode so I can play them.
or you know, I get like a Tron situation. I just get sucked into the game. I'm like no. <laughs> okay, if I did get sucked into a game, uh, oh, damn, what what game would I want to be sucked into? That's a hard decision. Because there are a lot of games that would be really fucking cool. I guess if I had to pick, it'd probably be Arknights just because I'm more familiar with it at the moment. Or even the Sonic the Hedgehog universe. like that, I'm fine with that too. Probably a few others that I'm pretty chill with. Probably like Final Fantasy or something. Mostly uh, I'm thinking about aesthetic. So I'm leaning more towards Arknights just because I like the the designs. Plus, you know, thick gator women. You know, that's a that's a pretty good argument for that. A thousand hours in the game, damn. Sucked into or sucked off to. <laughs> Um, I would say just hold off for now, because I don't even have the game to begin with. But if I ever get into it, then, um, uh, can definitely look into that, into doing stuff like that. But yeah, if I ever got trapped in a game, definitely need furry women, or else there's just no fucking point. <laughs> And when I say furry, I mean I, that includes like, you know, scalies and whatever subcategories too. So, you know, just the furry spectrum in, in general. Because, like, come on, like, games like fucking um, Skyrim have lizard made women. And there's even like a story about a guy who had an affair with one. So I'm just like, okay, this guy's priority had priorities here. This guy knew what he wanted. The more I stare at Blake's color, the darker <laughs> it gets. Exactly, right? It's like if you look too long, it just feels like it gets darker until other colors are introduced. And then it's like, okay, it's not as dark. But we gotta get there first. <laughs> Cause I haven't even added in like clothing and eye color and all that yet. But yeah, it's like furry women are no deal. Like That's literally a deal breaker. <laughs> I always find it funny cuz a lot of religious shit has furry has furries in it. Especially Egyptian stuff. It's like, oh, Egyptians were just totally open about being furries. Like just think about it. <laughs> Mm. 
It's like, oh, we have Bassett. She has a cat head. And it's like, and I'm like, go on. <laughs> I don't know. These these Egyptians are they're kind of selling me pretty hard here. <laughs> That's why people made up Raptor Jesus. <laughs> Hell yeah, like, if I if I ever played Skyrim, because I, I never, I, I think I played it, like, once, because my friend had it, and he was um, showing me the werewolf class thing, which I find, like, I I think you, like, fig, you, like, remedy it, but I can't remember if you can, like, still transform into it. If not, I'm like, why the fuck would you fix that? <laughs> fuck that, I would stick as a werewolf. I don't care if it, like, is you, is treated as, like, a debuff or something. Fuck that, I would just fucking take advantage of that. But um, but yeah, if um, if I did play it, I'd definitely pick the fucking lizard people. Fuck that! Like hell yeah. And I always pick female characters nowadays because they just have more options, especially when it comes to like clothing and designs and shit like that. Because uh, I remember one of my friends saw me playing Pokemon Y, and they're like, "How come you picked a girl?" And I was like, "They got more options." And I'm like showing him off all the all my fucking outfits and shit, and he's all like, "Damn!" Because he's like looking at his character because he chose a, a male character. And all he has is fucking like you know the hat, the shorts, the t and the shirt, and the and the jacket or whatever, and that's pretty much it. And I'm showing him my fit. <laughs> I was like, yo, I got fucking leggings here. I got this hat, got glasses and all that. I got all this drip <laughs> as a female character. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, female characters get more shit. The mod of redemption. I have not done any of this stuff. Oh no, you're talking the zone, so never mind. <laughs> but yeah, like women just have more options, and and it looks cool. That's why I like that one um, set of pictures of a. Uh, I think he was like a school professor who purposely wears women's clothing because it's just clothing and it doesn't matter. Clothing doesn't like innately belong to any specific gender. So he's like purposely walking around in like heels and a skirt. And this guy is like fucking like not jacked, but he's like definitely toned. And he just does not give a fuck. He just goes through his day like normal. And I was like, yeah, see, this guy knows knows how, knows how it is. That is not the color I wanted. There we go. Just add more guns. <laughs> guns. More guns. Raining guns. Tsunami of guns. It's like, alright, I hear you about the, those guns, but have you ever heard of wands? <laughs> Yeah, as you look at the magical girls. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just talking. I need to watch um, Recreators, I think it was. Because all I've heard is good things. I hadn't sat down and watched it. There's too many shows I need to watch. But I, I re recall hearing of a magical girl who was in Recreators. And she uses her powers in like the real world. And she realizes how fucking destructive her powers are. Because <laughs> it's not like how shit goes down in her world. Where, you know, explosions and shit like that are contained. Uh, there's a Calamity mod. Interesting. Okay, I think I got everyone's hair. I oh, know I that was what I was getting this color for. There we go. Got your eyes that I needed. Okay, so I got all that. Uh, which Blake first? 
Uh, Fat Blake. She's the easiest. Have I seen the bullet in Gungeon? No. My powers are grenade. <laughs> it's like, what's this power? Grenade! <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? That's like fucking Napalm Man in Mega Man. It's like, what the fuck is Napalm Man's job? <laughs> And I gotta remember that not every robot master in Mega Man was made for a, with a specific job in mind. Because some of them were made by Dr. Wily to um, fight Mega Man. But in other cases, you just have like robots with specific jobs. And you're just like, huh. So he has this job, but this is his weapon. Interesting. Hello, welcome. Uh, Basham? Is that how you pronounce it? Oh, I like Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen's awesome. Fucking love that that show. There's a lot of shit where I need to get into like the mangas of things, because I know the mangas have like either their own take, or they just... Um, or they just... Uh, have like a really good explanation of it b due to the animation. Or like in some cases, the animes don't even continue on past like a certain number of seasons. The French pronunciation? Dora Hedoro. I think I saw the first episode of that. Do do. I'll have to look at Dorohodoro. I might be misthinking what uh, what show I'm thinking of. Dorohodoro. Uh, that's with the lizard guy, right? Okay, it is. Yeah, I've, I've only seen the first episode. I'll have to continue it on. Damn it, I want to move on to the other colors, but I keep finding other shit. I think I just need to stop fixating on it, on these things. Okay, move on. Uh, did the ears, did the noses. No other mouths are open, so we're good. Alright, next color. Yeah, there's a lot I need to check out. I just gotta sit down and spend the time. Do 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 do. There we 
go. Wait. Why did I make another layer for this? Let's put this together. There we go. That's better. Yeah, might as well just do all three blakes at the same time if possible. The only thing I gotta focus on is just the whites in their eyes. We're gonna D and D right now. Rico kaboom! I just love that they're like in certain RPGs. There's things like magic missile, and I'm just sitting there thinking about it. It's like, wait, would they even know what a missile was if it was in medieval times? Like I would, that that part that little detail has always come up in, in mind because I'm just like wait a minute. Uh, where is the as the cast that has evil Blake? Jesus, was it really that far back? Yep, yes it was. So we'll use this color. And just so I don't have to do all that again. color. There we go. Uh, that's where our is in the Wild West. I rely on guns from that era. That's cool. A missile is any projectile, arrows, sink stones, darts. Interesting. Good to know. You can flip your enemies so they explode. No, I have never heard of Starbound. At least I don't think I have. If I have, I've probably seen like somebody playing it in the background of a of a discussion or something. Either that or I saw it like very brief briefly. And let's just color this in for the sake of argument. There we go. Terraria in space! <laughs> yeah, building towns is always fun. That's why Minecraft would probably be fun to do. Just build something and just walk around inside of it. Especially if you put in the mods or whatever to turn up the the graphics on that game. It looks fucking beautiful. And now I want you wearing fucking lipstick. There we go. Even if it's super fucking subtle, I still want it. There we go. Okay. You're the only one with scars, so you get that treatment. Oh yeah, there's metal in your hair. I need to get that. Grab the metal. We're good. Uh, we'll do this real quick, because all I gotta do is select stuff. Do, 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 do. I 
Hello, Nomite. Unless it's Genomite. Welcome, everybody. Uh, did that, so now we color these. Good. Grab what I wanted. No, I did not. Yeah, that's what I thought. The blicks are kind of like witches coven. <laughs> Oh, I got it right. That's good. Yeah, I'm glad everybody's just chilling. All right. Do do do. I need that metal in your hair. Or clips. Okay. Uh, outfits, outfits, outfits. Don't really need anything complicated. You get the pink. Alright, you take care. Yeah, um, I hope you have a good day. Yeah, I'll come back anytime I'm live again or whatever. So yeah, you take care. Chill. Have a good day. Allow me to talk about the Atomic Heart. I feel like I should know what that one is. Uh Oh yeah, I've seen the robot women. I know I know nothing of that game other than the robot women. Yeah. All I've seen is the robot women. I'm like, yeah, I'd hit that. Might as well give her like an exercise outfit. That way it looks like she's been keeping in shape. Do do do. You have a real question for me? All right. color what got me into the furry fandom uh honestly i pre I, I think i've just always been in it <laughs> like if you mean in terms of like my love of furry characters and stuff like that i've always been in it and i didn't even know what like furries were until a friend explained it to me and I was just like, because she, she was like, you're a furry, aren't you? And I was like, what is that? And she explains it to me. And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. 
and that was in high school so i think that was my senior year so that was like in the middle of 2006 or no it might have been like either late 2005 or early 2006 Round as a shape. <laughs> but yeah, I think I've always been in it. Because like I, cause I grew up... Because I, I was born in 88. And I grew up in the 90s. So... All that... All, all the, like, the 90s furry cartoons existed at that point. So... It was kind of inevitable... In my situation. Like, I don't even know how I got into Sonic the Hedgehog. I just always like Sonic the Hedgehog. It was just a cartoon I watched every morning. Well, not, no, because it would come on right as I was going to school. And so my dad would record the episodes for me. And that's what I would watch. And then we eventually got a Sega. And... Sonic 2 was my first Sonic game and then I played Sonic 1. And like we've had a Nintendo so it wasn't like I wasn't aware of um, Mario stuff as well. Hi on those Disney <laughs> um the the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog and then later Sat AM. So I grew up with both Sonic cartoons. <laughs> So yeah, I, I was I was already in the furry stuff pretty early on. <laughs> and they were always as more appealing. And granted, like I always like like I liked other cartoons and stuff like that, like G.I. Joe and Thundercats and Voltron Speed Racer, you know a lot of the nineties classics. If not all of them. <laughs> or a good chunk of them, like, you know, King Arthur and the Knights of Justice and stuff like that. So but then there's like, you know, like Gummy Bears, DuckTales, Rescue Rangers, you know, the the starter pack. You know, like Darkwing Duck and all that. So I think I've just always been in it. Granted, I probably didn't start going super hard on drawing furries until... No, because I was drawing Sonic stuff, so never mind. I was already drawing furry stuff. But I was also drawing like Marvel and DC stuff too. Because I grew up with both of those too. Or I grew up with even more than that. Because I was reading comics that weren't that weren't even Marvel or DC. Uh, when you see something and get an attraction, that's how you know. I mean, I'm sure Winx had that stuff, too. I mean, like, virtually every cartoon had something to that was a kink. And they just went down the list. But Totally Spies just said, just said, check all. They just looked at that list and just said, oh, check all of it. We'll do it. Like, they, they had no shame. And like Sonic the Hedgehog had weight gain in it. They even had it was funny. The the episode that has weight gain also has age regression. So they had they had two they had both of those things at once. And then there was like the inflation episode too. I had a penny for every time I see a kink a kink related scene in a kid cartoon. 
have enough to get a Big Mac. <laughs> if I if if I got a penny for every time I saw that shit, I'd probably have a shit ton of money, honestly. <laughs> if we're if we're going from like start to now, <laughs> you gotta remember this is on the daily. <laughs> Especially since practically every cartoon has it. So I think you'd be getting more than a Big Mac. Huntick? I don't know if I don't, I don't think I've heard of Huntick. Huntick had hint. I don't. I don't know if I know what that is. Tom and Jerry. Oh yeah, Tom and Jerry had a, had shit tons of stuff. I mean, there's all, and then there's that that episode with the with the duck milf, and they're showing off her bra and underwear. And I was like, oh okay, yeah, <laughs> this is normal, <laughs> which it is because I'm just like, okay, this is because like. To me, these are just the cartoons I grew up with where all the shit that people get sensitive about nowadays, I'm just like, guys, it's a fucking cartoon. Get over it. If you don't like it, then don't watch it. Like, I don't know what else to really tell you. <laughs> uh, let's make this darker blue. There we go. Kind of separated a bit. Uh, oh, it was only in Italy. I might have seen a clip of Kuntik. Italian JoJo or Pokemon. I'll have to take a look because I might know what you're talking about. Let me just type it in just to take a quick look. Yeah, I've seen this. I just haven't watched it. <laughs> but some of the characters I've seen before. Okay, yeah, that's probably how I saw it. Because it might have been on... What was it? Like... Like, um... Not Fox Kids, but, um... Foxbox, was it? No, no, no. Foxbox was still, still the same thing. Uh, Fox Family, there we go. Or ABC Family. It might have been on that kind of channel. Or even Nickelodeon or something like that. Because I don't think it was on Cartoon Network. If it was, I... I do not recall it being there. We're talking about King Seven Kids cartoons. Is not talking about Japanese anime. Anime will have whatever the hell they want. I'm just there for the for for the context and ride. I don't care. <laughs> and honestly, I've been watching stuff in everything. So it, to me, it's just like, eh, it's a cartoon. If you're not confusing it with real life and stuff like that, then there's no problem. Uh, let's do this. And like, the same lewd situations happen in kids' cartoons anyway. Like, not even the animes. They're, they happen in like regular western shit. So, to me, I don't know what everybody is tripping out over. It's like, dude, I see the same thing over here. But, that's just me. In Europe, mostly French and Belgium, we had a bit of a crisis about Japanese taking a lot of TV time. Well, yeah, because it was, like, probably the most interesting thing that happened. I'm thinking of Four Kids when you mentioned Fox Kids. Oh, yeah, when Four Kids had their own segments for a while. I 
Martin Mystery was pretty fun. I had fun with that show. Martin Mystery was actually really good. Code Lyoko was good. Um, Fantastic Four was good when it was made by the same people. Or at least the same company. Yu-Gi-Oh! Captain Flame. I said 31. Yu-Gi-Oh! I obviously know. Goldorak. I'll have to look at some of these names because I might... I might... Um know some of these I just have to watch I just have to look them up uh you know they made a kid version of Totally Spies right if they did I would prefer to keep that knowledge at zero <laughs> cause look I'll never understand why people would go from hey let's take this show that was perfect the way it was and then shit on it <laughs> take a big big shit on it like fucking Teen Titans Go. And then the sad part is they'll say like, oh, Teen Titans Go is our most popular cartoon. It's like, yeah, because you guys literally spent weeks um, showing nothing but Teen Titans. So of course it's going to be your most popular show when it's the only show you're showing. Because that's what Netflix is doing with the Velma cartoon, where it's like, oh, it's our most popular uh, animated show. And I'm like, but that's why, but that's because you canceled all your other ones. <laughs> so it's literally their only good cartoon, because that's the only cartoon they have. T9's Go is like, literally spent like two weeks of just 24 7 T9's Go with the exception of Adult Swim. And I'm just like, guys, you got the original voice actors still around to do Teen Titans. Why are we not continuing on the original Teen Titans? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't get it. It's kind of like how I get confused over um, Kids Next Door and Ed and Eddie were great. Ah, Real Monsters was good. Digimon was great. Like, one of the things that baffles me is how Nintendo doesn't make too many shows off of their IPs. And, like, every time they show, like, a... like, a mini cartoon or, like, some type of small spinoff or something, everybody loves it, but then Nintendo's like, cool, we're gonna go do something else now. <laughs> and everyone's like, Why? It's like you have something awesome here and you choose not to do anything with it. But then you get upset when it's like, oh, these properties aren't making any money. And it's like, yeah, because you won't let people enjoy it. You won't expose people to those properties for them to want to care about it. That's why everybody thought fucking Metroid was awesome when um, Dread came out. I was like, oh my god, we get to experience Metroid again? Cool. And now we got Bird Daddy from that game, so come on. <laughs> yeah, and like, certain games that they don't, or certain IPs that they don't believe in, get like, the short end of the stick with budget. But then they're surprised when those games don't do well. And it could be multiple factors. Not only just the budget, but also just like the choice in in um, gameplay style that they decide for, to go with the game. Such as Star Fox putting in motion controls and stuff like that that it didn't really need. And then they're surprised. Well, not surprised, but like the game just doesn't end up doing well. It's like, well, yeah, you tossed in shit nobody wanted. 
They just wanted a Star Fox game. Anime with CGI. Movie about Animental Monsters fighting. Made it. I might know of that show. I'd have to look it up if I knew the name. Like, there's probably a lot of shows that I've come across and seen. And I've either spent a moment or two to sit down and watch it just to see if it was something I was interested in. Or... Or just saw it but didn't think much of it. Like, it wasn't something that was going to really get my attention. Gourmetti. Okay, I'll look at this one. Uh, I've probably seen the toys, but I don't. But I probably didn't think much of it. Yeah, the season of Samurai Jack. Yeah, I think Samurai Jack, like, it wasn't awful, but I think it could have been a little bit better. Because especially, like, the very end where they tried to make him, like, sympathetic to um, the one chick who passes. It's like, that part didn't make sense based on how the chain of events worked. Because it's like, okay, if you change time, she shouldn't exist long enough for you to go through all that. Like, it doesn't work that way. It's like, she merely existed just so you could feel bad. So close to getting new she toys. Do, do, do. Ooh, let's try this one. I don't think I've... Wait, no. No, not that. Clicked the wrong thing. Or did I? No, I guess this is fine. Almost done with this, and then I'll probably call it for today. Oh yeah, I didn't do her nails. I'll have to get them in a moment. Uh, let's change this, because she's already close to that color. more of a red. Yeah, see their skin isn't as dark as I thought it thought they were. Or not skin, but fur. Well, that doesn't even make sense because she would only exist because of Aku, but Aku was killed in the in the past, so that should have just eliminated that timeline to begin with. Unless, because like the only other way she would she would exist is if time wasn't linear. And if time wasn't linear, then there was no reason for her to vanish in the first place. Yeah, see, so, because, like, without the colors, I was just like, dude, why is she so fucking dark? <laughs> it's like, that can't be right. 
and then now I'm like, okay, cool. It was just my, it's just our eyes fucking with us because of the the lack of color. Plus, with all the white that was around, it was just making the the black more darker than it than it seemed. So it just needed to balance out. Remember the Iron Giant Treasure Planet where Peak. Both of those movies are great. Shit. <laughs> or Titan AE. Titan AE was great. We got. Um, was it Skith? Was that was her name? Titan AE. See, now I need to look up her name, or else I'm going to be driven insane. Cast. What was your name? Ah, it was... Stiff. That was her name. Stiff was great. <laughs> Alien kangaroo, kangaroo woman. Just, just... Just fucking spread eagle the entire movie. I'll laugh if... If, if the back of the normal Becky, um, Becky's yoga pants say trophy... <laughs> No, she beat the shit out of Pax if he gave her those. She'd probably wear it for like a kink, kinky day or something. She's like, "All right, I'll wear, I'll wear the damn pants." And then, like the first time she wears it, it just stretches out the, the words "trophy" like dramatically. And Pax just has like a, a fuck, just sweating, going like Jesus. <laughs> And she's like, what? And he's like, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Just didn't realize how uh, small those pants were, were going to be. Pants were faster than brain. <laughs> If it was Norma Blake, yeah, like she'd probably have trophy written on her ass. She wouldn't give a fuck. <laughs> she she would probably intentionally make uh, make it a point there too. She's like, yeah, you better enjoy it. <laughs> you better enjoy having a trophy wife. Because she'd be like, your ass ain't getting better than this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Dexter's Lab was was a fun time. Oh yeah, need to need to color her chip. She holding a chip. Big Blake gotta get her chip, her chippies. There you go. And let's fill this in a little bit more. Okay, I think we're pretty much 
done at this. Well, I still need to put some dialogue, but other than that, we're pretty much done. I'll just give them some background. I don't even know what, because all their colors are all over the place. Probably like a reddish color or something to help bring them out. Uh, let's see. Uh, wait, have you tried Elden Ring? No, I have not. But I do know Blight, and Blight is the best doggo. He's the bestest boy. Uh, one thing. We've seen what Marcy and Blake look like in ten years after true ending. What about Becky? What would she look like in ten years? Good question! I have not thought about what Becky would look like in ten years. And there are multiple ways I can go about it. I can either just make her look, you know, older. And, you know, whatever time does to her body because of all the different animals and stuff that she is. Or I could go the route where her body goes through, like, a mutation because of the animals that she has. So she has, like, a weird side effect or something or things get more emphasized on her because of her traits. So, good question, actually. Like, I know I've thought about it, like, once in terms of, like, you know, what if um, her body just, you know, mutated and stuff like that. But I don't think I really considered, you know, how would she be in ten years. Because it just, just did not click with me to think about it. So, that would be a thing to think about. <laughs> She probably would be a little bit more out of shape just because her body is already hard to maintain as it is. But definitely wouldn't give a fuck. Nah, that looks that looks wrong. Let's try like a green color. Or greenish blue. Try like this. Mixed in with this. better. It's past midnight here. It is 3.15 over here. With the Fox Bullet Girl, I imagine she became a fat trailer wife with 10 kids. And a copy of the Five on her. Oh, the things that Tiffany will go through for her story. One of the Astacasts pretty much hints how her story goes. She will be a fun time when I get to her. Do do do. Uh. Let's see, let's see about less than this. Let's try 70%. That's not bad. And then we'll just do this, so that way... That way they not drown out. Let's see, how does that look close up? Not bad. And then originally I was going to have the back row characters be darkened a bit. Might do two versions if I feel it's not good, but let's see. Because this was the initial thought. Uh, let's do a little bit more softer than that. So like... something like this and I was gonna have them in the back be glowing hold on let me change it though because I only want it to affect them if I have to I'll just erase whatever I need to uh, 
Something like this. I'll probably lessen the dark. I'll probably do two versions. That way one's bright and the other one's dark. Oh yeah, like... Let me see. Which Astacast was it? Uh... Do 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 do... If you, if you look up, should I just throw it up here? Nah, just in case. If you look up Astacast thirty one, then you'll um, then you'll get a a hint of what's going on in her life. So we'll do lemon lime first. So it's those two. blue for him. He surprised me with a couple of my Asakas being answered. I just try to pick the ones that I can get like a lot um a lot out of. Cause a lot cause um I try not to ignore the the ones that have to do with weight gain and stuff, but a lot of the times it's pretty much like the same type of question over and over. And there's only, like, so much I can do with that before it feels like I'm just answering the same question. Because a lot of it's like, you know, what if this person gained weight? Or, oh, what if um, the this character hung out with this character, but this character was fat? It's like, I mean, aside from, like, different personal quirks, it's, like, pretty much the same question. Oh yeah, so Valley and Becky is like, oh yeah, if she's if she had a so Valley, she, that bitch is getting drunk. She's like, uh -uh, I ain't raising pussies here. And here's the fun bun. We'll get her color. Well, they're all fun buns. No, actually, there is a fun bun. <laughs> I need to draw those two: fun bun and bun bun. I've only shown them off in a few instances. So yeah, I'll probably post one version where it's like this and then one where you can see the characters more clearly. If I do, it'll probably be on Patreon or something, just so I'm not spamming pages too often. Because I hate doing that for, like, DeviantArt and um, for Infinity, where it's like, here's the same picture, but it's, like, you know, textless or something. It can't be just, like, um, Ink Bunny, where you can uh, stack uploads in one into one post. That's why I like Ink Bunny a lot. Okay, what was I going to have them say? Because I think I was going to have... Um, CC say something. Uh, let me see if I can find her. Yeah, I can use this. What was it? 74? Open... I'll 
before I put this over here, just because. Or, I can tweak it. for is that what I want yeah this is fine looks like the Kyber gave his eye <laughs> well originally I was going to throw all the other part of his shoulder but um, his armor is a lot bigger in this form so I just kind of left it or left it the way it was Still debating on his design because I'm gonna because he's gonna be tweaked because um, he's um, a lot of changes have happened since the days where I made him and other characters. So we'll see what happens. tweak this because I don't really want or hold on I might not have to so that's let's just stretch it out just a little bit so there's more space this goes over here The armor is kill the kill. It's more that, um, because he has the ability of turning a person's, um, um, thoughts and desires and shit like that into a card game. And that's where, that's where the game that Kiwi plays in, in her comic comes from. Because he's the one that made it. And, like, normally he looks like this. Let me grab him real quick. Where are you? Ah. Because normally he looks like this. As soon as it opens up. That's what he normally looks like. And then currently, this is the oldest, or this is the current artwork I have of his other form. But um, a lot has changed since then. So like this symbol isn't there anymore. A lot of this is being redesigned and stuff like that. Because it just doesn't fit what I have established now. But yeah, this is an old ass picture. Let me close this now. Yeah, he's technically a villain. He, well, he's more of like a anti-hero. Dude, nah, it's uh, I would say villain, but he is a little bit more complicated because he's not entirely for the destruction of of um the world and stuff like that. But it's more like he's tied into it, t tied into the situation. Yeah, this is Jolly's um alternate form because like because Jolly is actually a, an older character where he's supposed to exist in another era but due to him becoming an eternal which is why he has that symbol down here due to him becoming an eternal he ends up living or basically being reborn in another era like because time passes and stuff like that but then he gets kind of given more of like a corrupted form so that's why he has this and then there's there's like more that has to do with that, but it's that's like the gist of it. Uh, 
Uh, have holly jolly Christmas. <laughs> oh god. I, I would need to make a Christmas character at some point. Well, actually, I mean, I have um, the Rudolph-looking guy, but I can make one that's a little bit more specific. Because you already got Jolly, and then you got Holly. <laughs> yeah. um, all right, you take care. The horniest time of the year. Okay, so I think we're done here. And here, This is the page. And I will be posting this along with yesterday's um, in a little bit after I lo or after I um, sign off. But yeah, this was fun. Um, like I said, tomorrow's a break, so I'm not going to stream tomorrow. Um, Saturday uh, will be game day. For now, I'm just going to be playing either... I'll probably play Arknights first just because I can get through the stuff that... Um, the stuff that needs to be done in that game a lot faster. Um, so I'll probably hold off on playing the, uh, the extra content that'll be out soon, because it comes out tomorrow. I mean, if I stream tomorrow, it'll probably be just Arknights, so I might stream tomorrow, but right now my thoughts are just probably using it for a break day, so we'll see. But I'll still... Uh, game on Saturday, and then Sunday will be on Picardo, which will be the Not Safe for Work stuff. But, um, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Um, yeah, I had a good time, and glad that we could finish off this picture. So, yeah. I will see you guys tomorrow, then, okay? Or, Saturday, alright? If I do, if I post tomorrow, then, you know, you'll know about it if you're following me. But, yeah. You guys take care. Bye-bye.